Davis. I'm Tando. And I'm Angel. We welcome you for today's service. But before that, let's pray. Oh God, we, we worship you. We thank you for all the things you have given us. Help Corona to finish. And we, we pray that the kids who are watching this to cooperate and behave. We know that the bad are coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Help the people who have coronavirus to get better. And we, we cover this chat with the holy blood. In just my, mighty name, Amen. Amen. Let's, Let's get started. There's no way you won't go Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You were always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time you're always pursuing, always pursuing, always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me You made a way for me Opened up the door Jesus, you have my heart Now and forevermore You're always pursuing, always pursuing Always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me and you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me In me, you're always pursuing, always pursuing, always pursuing me. Oh, your love is chasing, your love is chasing, your love is chasing me. More than the air I breathe, I need you here with me, oh. and you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop. And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me No, you never
My name is Stop. And now it is time for it is written. Today it will be written in the book of Exodus. Exodus 20 verses 7. It says, You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will hold guilty who takes his name in vain. Be blessed. Boys and girls, welcome for today's object lesson. My name is Teacher Dina. Well, boys and girls, for today we are going to talk about the third commandment and that is do not use the name of God in vain or in other words, respect the name of God. And in our object lesson, we are going to look at when you respect the name of God, God will go before you. And I want to show you how a name is so powerful. During those old days, uh, a group of people or an army, when they were going through a war, as they were marching into the war, they would write a name on a banner just like this. And boys and girls, when you see uh, these army marching into your neighborhood or uh, along the streets we are actually just telling you we are the tribe of judah and i need you or we want you to get out of the way and we are going to get you boys and girls if you are in an army that is not tough as they are you will be shaking in your shoes or in your boots knowing that they are going to get you and boys and girls, as Christians, we march under a different name. We march under a different banner. And that is the name of God, the Lord God Almighty. And when you respect the name of God, boys and girls, He will go before you. If you are going through a hard time or maybe you need God and you pray to God and tell God, God, I need you. I need you to provide this or that. Do you know what happens? God takes the step when you use His name with respect. He takes the step and He goes before you and provides for you. And that is what happens when you tell God that you love God in a respectful manner and in the right way. What happens? God goes, goes before you. And the word of God says, his name is a banner that goes before us. And also his word says that when we call unto him, he will answer us and he will provide for us everything. Boys and girls, so today we are learning that when you use the name of God in a respectful manner, what happens? God goes before you. And his name is a banner to us. So boys and girls, today we have learned that do not use the name of God in vain. Do not um, use the name of God to cast. Do not use the name of God in dis disrespectful manner. Use the name of God in a right way. And what will happen? He will go before you. Because God is who he says he is. Boys and girls, that's it for our object lesson. I'll see you at the end of the lesson. My name is Teacher Morning Flower and I want to warmly welcome you to today's live lesson called General Tuna. Sit back and enjoy. Tiddles! General Tuna. Welcome to the OSS, the Ocean Secret Service. Today General Tuna is explaining to his two newest secret agents, Sam Fish and James Front, their first assignment. The first person you see in the picture behind me is the evil Dr. Nose. We know he's up to something, but we are not sure what his plans are. Your mission is to sneak into his secret underground base and get all the information you can. 
you will be equipped with all the latest equipment, including the special radio, which is tied indirectly to central command. If you need anything, all you have to do is make a call into this radio. Whatever you need will be made available. However, in order for your call to be taken, you will have to use a special access code. I wanted it to be something that would be easy to remember. So your access code will be my name. Just say the words General Tuna and the operative on the other end will respond immediately. Gentlemen, if there are no further questions, you're dismissed. Good luck. After the meeting, Sam and James began preparing for their mission. They were laughing and joking just to cover up how nervous they were. Out of nowhere, James began putting the general down. Man, I tell you, I don't know what's up with that general. Did you see how stiff and stuck up he was? Talk about corny. I mean, come on, use his own name as the code word? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. James continued, then Sam finally interrupted him. Now wait a minute. I don't think you should be talking about the general like that. This isn't his first mission. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Besides, you should show him respect. He's the general and he's in charge. Oh, sure, sure, James replied. I don't mean to disrespect or anything. I'm just joking around. Children, now it's probably pretty easy to tell who does and who doesn't respect the general in this story. You can tell by the way they talk. What about you? You may say that you respect God's name, but ask yourself this. Do I use God's name with respect? Or do I use his name in vain? Have you said to yourself, it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. It's just words. Besides, everyone talks like this. Well, it does matter and it is a big deal. How you talk and how you use God's name shows whether or not you really have respect for his name. Sam and James approached the secret base with extreme caution. But all of a sudden they heard, Freeze! Stop right there or we'll shoot! As they turned around, they saw agents of the SIA, the Swimming Intelligence Agency, surrounding them with their guns drawn. Wait a second, Sam said. We're on the same side. We're agents from the OSS on a special assignment to check out Dr. Nose. Likely story, said the leader of the SIA agents. We're under special orders to kill or arrest anyone we come across who look like they could be working with Dr. Nose. I can prove it, said Sam, as he quickly turned on the special radio the general had given him. Attention, Central Command, he said into the radio. This is Special Agent Sam Fish requesting identification to be sent to SIA headquarters, verifying mission status. This is an emergency. A voice crackled back over the radio. What is your authorization code? Sam answered. The code is General Tuna. The voice on the radio responded immediately. 10 to 4 over and out. The SIA leader listened closely as he began to get a message over his earpiece. Good news, gentlemen, he said. We have confirmation. You're free to go. Children, just as the name of general protected them, the Bible says that God's name will protect us. When Sam got into a tough spot, he knew the only thing that could protect him was the name of the general. He respected that name because he knew that when he needed help, that name would protect him. God says in his word that his name is a strong tower. His name will protect us when we need it. But when you disrespect God's name, you're giving up your right to that protection. Respect God's name. 
His name will protect you. Sam and James made it into the base and found a spot where they could spy on Dr. News and record what he was saying. Dr. News began to tell his whole plan to take over the world. Sam and James smiled at each other as they had recorded everything he'd said. Everything was going perfectly until one of Dr. Nose's henchmen looked up and saw Sam and James looking at them. Spies! Spies! He yelled out, pointing at the secret agent's hiding spot. Dr. Nose looked up and with a sinister chuckle looked back at his men and said, Kill them! Sam and James swam as fast as they could. James looked at Sam and said, Swim, Sam! Swim! But then Sam remembered the general had told them that if they were in any danger, they needed to say the code over the radio. Sam looked at James and screamed, Pull out your radio and call on the name! James, call on the name! I'm not saying that name. That name can't do anything for us, James yelled back. Please call on the name, Sam begged, but James wouldn't listen. All of a sudden, Sam screamed. Sam fell to the ocean floor. James looked back at Sam. Sam, are you okay? Call on the name, replied Sam desperately. James got on the radio and said the code, General Tuna. As soon as he said the code, General Tuna dispatched other agents to their location. They took Sam to the hospital. Sam was hurt real bad. The general made sure that the best doctors and surgeons in the world took care of Sam. One of the doctors at the hospital asked the general, Why are you going to so much trouble for this one guy? The general looked back at the doctor and said, because I made a promise. I promised that if he called on my name, I would take care of him. General Tuna looked at Sam and he started to cry. He thought about James. Why didn't you believe me? I told you that if you called on my name, I would save you. But you didn't believe me. You've shown me you have no respect for my name. Children, God says the same thing to you. He has the power to save you. His name is the only name that can save you. But you don't call on his name. You don't believe that his name has the power to save you. When you don't believe him, you have no respect for his name. Respect God's name. Slowly, Sam began to recover. He stayed in the hospital for several months before the doctors decided he was well enough to leave. He went to visit his friends and the general back at the headquarters. The first person he ran into was James. After a while, they began talking about the mission. Soon, Sam began to notice that James was getting upset. So Sam asked him what was wrong. What's wrong? How can you even ask that? We should have never been sent on that mission. The general doesn't know what he's doing. If he had taken care of us the way he was supposed to, you would never have gotten hurt. It's because of him that you got shot. It's because of him the mission failed. This time, it was Sam's turn to get angry. What are you talking about? I'm the one that got shot, not you. The general promised that every time we used his name, whatever we needed would be available. And you know what? It was. It was only by calling on his name that we were protected from the SIA agents shooting us. It was only by calling his name that we were saved from Dr. Nose. Oh yeah, replied James. I still say he's an idiot that doesn't know what he's doing. So I don't know what I'm doing, do I? Came the voice of the general from behind both men. We'll just have to see about that. I've been standing here listening to you two guys for the past 10 minutes. It isn't hard to guess what happened after that. Over the next few years, Sam went on to do great things and the general made sure that no matter what, he was always there whenever Sam needed him and called on him. As for James, 
He never changed his attitude. His disrespect for the general and the general's name seemed to always get him in trouble. Eventually, he was kicked out of the OSS and got a job as a janitor. Children, you need to make a decision to respect God's name. If you would say, Lord God Almighty, he can do powerful things. If you just believe his name is powerful, then when you call on the name of God and you believe he has the power to save you and protect you, you show God you respect his name. Today is the day you need to make a decision to respect God's name and that you will no longer use his name in vain. Now, I want you to lift up your hands and repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I believe you have the power to save me. God, I believe you have the power to protect me. God, I believe that you go before me. God, I believe in your name. You are Lord God Almighty. Your name is a banner that goes before me and today I respect your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. And boys and girls, we have come to the end of our service. And today we have been reminded over and over again about the third commandment, not to use the name of God in vain. And I pray that God will help us to use his name in a respectful way. Boys and girls, let us pray before we end our work service. Heavenly Father, we thank you God for giving us the honor, Lord, of carrying your name. God, mighty Father, we want to uh, pray that, Lord, you may help us to understand, God, that everywhere we go, God, we represent your name. And for that reason, mighty Father, we need to respect your name. Lord, we ask you to forgive you for the times we have used your name in vain, for the times we have used your name to curse, for the times we have used your name in a disrespectful manner. Lord, help us, God, to use your name in a respectful manner, to respect your name, which is a powerful name, the name above all names. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Boys and girls, that's it for today's uh, service. Until next Open Sunday, bye and uh, see you Jesus, then. you have my heart. Now and forevermore. You're always pursuing, always pursuing. Stop.